My name is Johanna Ocaña. I work at Legal Services NYC in the Bronx, and I participated in SECO in 2012 with National Mobilization Against Sweatshops and their Justice Will Be Served campaign. Right now, I'm a staff attorney here at Legal Services NYC in the Bronx. I'm part of the housing unit, um, and within the housing unit, I'm part of this project called the Tenant Tenants' Rights Coalition. There's been this recognition that upzoning an area causes displacement and gentrification, and that in order to combat that, um, sort of services are needed to um, protect tenants and their rights. And so we work with legal aid and these community organizations to work with tenants who are being harassed or being displaced. Housing court is a really challenging space for tenants, especially low-income tenants. People who haven't been to housing court before maybe like hear court and they think like that it'll be kind of formal um, because it's a court proceeding. But when you go to housing court, it's very, it's very intimidating. People are yelling in the hallways. It's like, it's, it's a little bit unruly. What I have found when I meet tenants who sort of went by themselves and then later they realize, oh my God, I need some help. And then they come and try to get legal services. I will sit and interview them about their case. A lot of folks are there for non-payment cases. Sometimes tenants will be like, oh no, I don't owe that. But they signed a paper that said, yes, I will pay this. And so a lot of times I'll be like, why did you sign that? What? <laughs> why didn't you say no? Sometimes they end up waiving some of their rights, even though they are like, you know, perfectly fine and able to advocate for themselves. When I was a SECO intern and I was doing community organizing work, being able to do outreach, which is something that I learned in my organizing work, and being able to work with like groups of tenants now is like directly related. A lot of social justice lawyering has to do with learning to hold your clients' stories and, and tell them and give giving your client a platform and a space that is not meant to hear their story. I think that my clients teach me a lot about sort of their power and resilience and like motivate me to keep going when the work is very difficult because I've gotten to work with people who have navigated horrible systems, they've navigated interpersonal violence, um, systemic violence against them, and they're fighting for their homes and their families. And so to see how they make it through those situations with, it is just like, if I mean, if they can do it, then like I should be able to like write some papers for them to help keep them in their home. <laughs>